So the next topic is that is finite field of the form GF P. What is GF is Galois field and this P is your prime number. Okay. Now the Galois showed that that for a field to be finite, okay, for a field to be finite, to be finite, okay, the number of elements, the number of elements should be p to the power n, where this p is your p is your prime number, okay, and n is your positive integer. Okay. So, a gallows field we will represent it as gf p to the power n is a finite field with p to the power n elements. Okay. Suppose when n equals to 1 then we have a gallows field will be look like gf p because p to the power n n where n equals to 1 so we can write it as gf p. So, this can be a field, this field can be a set of z of p in which we have a set a value called 0, 1 up to p minus 1 and we with two arithmetic operations, the operations are uh, arithmetic operations and the operations are plus and star because in the field we have a property that f, f comma plus comma star. So, we test all, we satisfy all the following condition to, uh, to this algebraic structure to be a finite field. So, we have two algebraic uh, operation, arithmetic operation that is plus and star. So, this is how we can uh, define the Galois field for the form of GFP. Now, we take one example, okay, to how we calculate a Galois field. Suppose a very common uh, example in this category is if I have to calculate GF2, okay. So, this means the element is element uh, having a set called 0 and 1, the values are in the set is 0 comma 1, okay. Because we have we have to represent uh, uh, the elements is 0, 1 up to p minus 1. So, what is p here? p is 2. So, the set is 0 comma 1 and the two operations are two operations are plus and star, okay. Now, so to define this Galois field 2, first we find out, uh, first we have to find out addition modulo 2. So, we construct a matrix for the addition modulo 2. Addition modulo 2 means we will represent it this plus 2 and the elements are 0 and 1, 0 and 1. Now, to fill this matrix, we have to take the addition of these two numbers in such a way, if I get the value uh, or uh, addition value uh, more than or equal to 2, then we take the only the remainder value or the mod value. Suppose cell 0 plus 0 is 0 here. Now, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is again 1 and when we add 1 plus 1 that is 2, then in the addition modulo 2, if the value or the resulting value is equal to 2 or greater than 2, then we have to take the mod value. So, after adding 1 plus 1, we will get 2. So, we take the mod, if I take the mod value 2 mod 2, then the resultant will be 0. So, this is how we calculate the uh, addition modulo 2. Now, second matrix is that we have to calculate the multiplication modulo 2. So, for the multiplication modulo 2, 0 and 1. So, if I multiply 0 with 0, that is 0. 0 multiply with, uh, with 1, that is again 0. 1 and 0 is 0 and 1 multiplied with 1 that is 1. Here uh, the resulting value is uh, equal to or greater than 2 then again we take the uh, mod value. Okay. So, the first matrix is your addition modulo, the second is uh, multiplication modulo. Now, the third we have to take the additive inverse, additive inverse. So, we can represent it as if A is the element then the additive inverse is represented by minus A. So, for the 0 element and for the 1 element, the 0, 0 having additive inverse is 1 and 1 is having an additive inverse as 0, okay. And the last matrix is your multiplicative inverse, multiplicative inverse. So, if A is your element like 0 and 1, 
okay now the multiplicative inverse is represented by a to the power minus 1 so for 0 the multiplicative inverse value not exist so we will uh, represent it as dash and for the 1 the multiplicative inverse value is having 1 so this is how we represent or we define the galois field 2 now we take one more example suppose if i have to define the galois field 5 okay on the set of z5 okay so if i having a set z5 then the elements are 0 2 p minus 1 so it will become 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay and the operations are plus and star okay the first matrix we will have to calculate is addition modulo 5 so how will we will create this so to create the addition modulo 5 the elements are 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 and in the same way now we add these two uh, elements and when we get the uh, resulting value as uh, equal to 5 or more than 5 then at that time we take the mod value. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. Now for this, in this uh, cell 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4 and when we add 4 plus 1 that is 5 then we take the mod value that is 0 here. Now 2 plus 0. 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 2 plus 2, 4, 2 plus 3 is 5, so we take the mod value that is 0, then 4 plus 2 is 6, then the mod value, so 6 mod 5 is, then the remainder will be 1 here. Similarly for 3, 3 plus 0 is 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 3 plus 2, that is 5, so the remainder will be 0, 3 plus 3 is 6, then the remainder will be 1, 4 plus 3 is 7, then the remainder will be 2. Now 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 1 5 that is 5 mod 5 is again 0 then this will be 1 this will be 2 and this will be 3. So this is how we calculate the addition modulo 5. Now similarly the second matrix will be calculated as multiplication modulo 5. So we will represent it as 0 1 2 3 and 4 0 1 2 3 and 4. Now 0 will multiply by 0 0 0 0 0 0. 0. Now this also column has a value of 0. Now 1 multiply by 1, 1, 2 multiply by 1 that is 2, 3 and this is 4. Now 2 into 1, 2, 2 into 2, 4, 3 into, uh, 3 into 2 is 6. Now we take the module, mo 6 mod 5 is 1, okay. Now 4 into 2 that is 8. So the mod 5 if I, so this is not, uh, this is 5 here, okay. So uh, 4 into 2 is 8 and if I take mod 5 then the remainder will be 3 here. Similarly, we will calculate uh, two, uh, 3 into 1 that is 3, so then is 1, then 4, then 2 and for this the 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is how we calculate the uh, multiplication modulo 5. Now the third matrix is we have to con, uh, find additive inverse, additive inverse. Now for additive inverse, this can be represented as minus a and the elements are 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now for the additive inverse we have to consider uh, multi, uh, addition modulo 5 and consider the remainder 0, remainder as 0 for addi additive inverse. Now for C in the addition modulo 5 table for the value of 0 or for the element of this 0, this 0 on what value we will get a remainder as 0 this is this is 0. So the additive inverse of 0 is 0 here. Now again check for the value of 1. So this value of 1 on which value we get a remainder as 0? So on 4. So the additive inverse of 1 is 4 here. Now for the value of 2, for this value of 2 the remainder will be 0 when it is having a value 3. So the additive inverse of 2 is 3. Now for 3 See here on the value of 2 we will get a remainder as 0 so this becomes 2 and for the 4 uh, we will get a, a remainder as 0 when the value uh, when we add 1 here. So this is 1. Now similarly we calculate multiplicative inverse, multiplicative inverse we will represent it as a to the power minus 1 so 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now here we consider remainder as, we will consider the multiplication modulo table and we will consider remainder as 1. Now check, for the 0 value 
on which value we will get a remainder 1 there is no such value so it not exist for the one value for the element 1 on the value of again 1 we get a remainder 1 here so the multiplicative inverse of 1 is 1 now for the element 2 on that value of 2 uh, see on third value the remainder will be 1 so the multiplicative inverse of 2 is 3 similarly for 3 on the value of 2 the multiplicative inverse is 1 so the multiplicative inverse of 3 is 2 and similarly for the 4 on the value of 4 the multiplicative in, uh, the add remainder will be 1 here so it will become 4 here. So this is how we find the Galois field for a particular number p and uh, if you have any query then you can ask it, uh, in our comment section or you can send your query to our business email id that is itechnicallearning at the rate gmail.com. So keep watching our video. Thank you so much.